Police are calling it a brutal murder, but won't say more than that about the death of Teresa Longo. And most important for her family right now, a suspect has been arrested. His name, Reginald Briggs. Our Aaron Murray continues our coverage about the search for crucial evidence. On the banks of Little Papio Creek near 62nd and H, Omaha police, fire, and others searched for evidence connected to the murder of Teresa Longo. The 31-year-old mother was found dead in a home Friday near 39th and Burdett after a tip was called in. Longo's family and friends remain distraught with the news. And for somebody to do this to her just rips my heart out. Roseanne Olson and Longo used to work together. You could meet her once and she could make a lifelong impact on your life that was a positive one. Police arrested Reginald Briggs on Tuesday. He and Longo were not strangers. They knew each other. Police would not comment on a motive, when the murder happened or how. We just know a gun was used. And somewhere here, police believe crucial evidence in this case remains. Police searched the creek and the bank for hours today. But when they left, they didn't say if they found that crucial piece of evidence they were looking for. Longo's family did not want to speak on camera, but they issued a statement, quote, Teresa was a burst of sunshine to everyone she met. Her smiles, hugs, and humor will be missed the most. And her friends couldn't agree more. What she had made a lasting impact on my life, and I'm so truly glad I knew Teresa Longo. A friend, daughter, mother that will forever be missed. Along with the first degree murder charges and the weapons charges, we found this very telling. Bricks was also booked on pandering and for two counts of domestic violence. Police say the domestic violence charges were not against Longo, but Briggs' girlfriend. We asked police if they are linking that domestic violence case with the murder case at all. They would not comment except that everyone knew each other.